Hi guys, welcome to this quick review of this USB Intelligent Electronic Load Meter. It's the HT35. Here we can see a little bit more information. It comes is with this nice box. I took it already out, so to open the box that works. Here I zoom out a little bit. So here we have this nice thing it's only about 16 17 dollars and it helps to simulate like a consumer with usb so we have the normal usb plug we have you micro usb and we have usb c on the other side we have this thing which we can uh, adjust the power how much we want to consume and here we have a button first button here second button here we have a trigger here so for normal easy functions we just need these two buttons or actually just the one here this is as far as i know for quick charge quick charge two and three and samsung and ua and whatsoever the thing is, it is a little bit complicated, it looks complicated, it is a little bit complicated, I mean especially the instructions. You can download it from Amazon and I mean there's a link in the listing in the description and you can download it and I have already read it and it is very very complicated. I don't didn't even understand a single word more or less, I mean I think it doesn't have to do with my English, it is, maybe I'm too old, no, I think it, it, it is written really complicated, so, but still you can use it, I think most functions you can use uh, without knowing everything about that. There are a few specific functions like automatic detection, like this qu quick charge and, and so on which if you don't need that, then you don't have to dig in, uh, too deep into this manual or look uh, several instructions or whatsoever. So here we see the whole thing from underneath. So it is not absolutely not protected. So you have to be a little bit careful with this device. Okay, it's just $16. We have the heat sink here. We have a fan, which is good. I mean, it is up to 35 watts. There was an old one, the HD25, that was 25 watts. Now we have the HD35, it's 35 watts. And if you consume a lot of power with this thing, it will heat up and then we need this fan. You have to be careful, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't spill any liquid or touch it. I uh, mean, if you are somehow charged or whatsoever, but I think it's uh, one of the best devices, at least for the price. You can do so many things. I mean, when you are in the situation, you want to measure the capacity of a power bank or you want to measure how much power there is from a USB adapter or whatsoever. It is sometimes difficult to get something decent. I mean, if you want to uh, measure the capacity of a power bank then you need uh, yeah a decent size other power bank which is empty or a strong like heavy strong consumer and that's difficult usually I mean if you take just a USB fan it's maybe 5 watts so it's difficult and this helps with um, to simulate a really strong consumer 35 watts so you can empty such a really big power bank in a couple of hours that definitely helps and you can measure like cables and so on and so on so let's go into that and try a few things so i'm not going to show you everything i'm showing you just a few very basic options which i think usually probably 90 percent of the people will use and probably uh, there are yeah just a few re really specific options which only very few people will need so there's no need for most of the people for the other video so i will concentrate 
only on the major functions and then we'll probably do another video with very specific functions like quick short and so on so let's start so what of course helps a little bit to begin is this kind of normal or old-fashioned power meter for USB which I've been using for years and it has a similar design very tech and not protected and yeah but it helps to see because it has much more options or it shows you much more than this basic display so we'll see that right now I stick it here and this into that and we can already see something so of course now everything is on power but here we have just minimal consumption 0 0.007 amps which is just the basic load of this device I mean it's just the integrated electronics it's actually not working as a consumer now but I can already start it right now. What I do is usually what I recommend to adapt the power to what is listed like from this device which you want to test. So usually you would have like typically you would have a 2.1 amps in on, on high power and maybe one amp for low power devices so we start with one amp and here we have this thing which we can adjust like counterclockwise we are reducing the amps and clockwise we are increasing but now now at the moment nothing will happen when you just plug in you have the, enough time to adjust the load before you start it you have to uh, actually start it otherwise nothing will happen so we start with one amp so that's exactly one amp and here we start it here we have this start button and as you can see I mean the fan is not running because it's not much power maybe it will turn on later but here we can see I hope you can check that it's exactly one amp it says it is switching between uh, 0 0.999 and 1 amp so we are pretty close so it looks like they are really showing accurate uh, measurements so that's good we can continue forever of course till the power bank is empty or we can increase and try and find out if this device is really delivering 2.1 amps which they state so we increase a little bit and we go up to 2.1 amps and now you can see of course there's more power consumption and yeah the power has to go somewhere it's turned into heat and the passive heatsink is not enough so it needs the fan of course that helps a lot and as you can see this device this power bank is able to deliver 2.1 amps and it's absolutely in sync and it's doing great so we can also check other levels here on the left side we just click we see how much watts I mean P means power how much how much watts we are uh, consuming here we see that also 10.5 here it says 2.10.2 uh, 10.5 so a little bit gets lost in between here we have the voltage 4.9 5.0 always the further you go the less volts you have and yeah again I'm um, so no problem with that and that's really good so we just need the this button to start and stop and here to see different readings and yeah the fan works automatically turns on turns off and here we can adjust the load what we, is also a really good thing to show which I yeah something which is uh, really interesting to see I will show you that now with cables that's important 
So I'm still having the same setup, but I have a micro USB plug in, a cable in between. Yeah, we have, I mean, we have the micro USB, we have uh, micro USB uh, uh, plug, we have normal USB, and we have USB-C. The limits are for micro USB, I think, 2 amps. For USB-C, it's 5 amps. And for the main adapter here, it's 5 amps as well. But I'm not going so high. I mean, I'm trying with 2.1 amps. And now I start this thing. And now let's see what happens. As you can see, there is still 5 volts. 2 amps here. We have 2 amps here. We scan through the whole thing. We have a little bit a low wattage. I mean, here we see 10.3, 10.4 watts still. But here, at this point, we get much less. And this is because of the cable. We can also see the voltage. And the voltage is really low. That seems to be a really bad cable. I mean, we have 5 volts here. We have only 3.7 volts here. That's a huge problem. So we try now with a USB-C cable and see if we find a difference. So very similar setup, but we used here the USB 3 plug. And of course with the different cable, again 2.1 amps and yeah, it's now without load. We start it again and let's see what we get. We scan through the whole thing and we see there's much more power. Before we were at 7 point something, now we are at 9.4 9 watts, which is much higher. And also volts are much higher, 4.5. And again, this is that's with the same load with the same configuration apart from that just changing the cable from micro usb to usb c so usb c we know is a little bit better usually uh, regarding transmitting power and yeah in fact we can really see that here so that's also a good a uh, really good application or project to see how this device works and to show you the importance of such a device I have changed the configuration again a little bit so here we have the old USB meter but I have replaced the artificial consumer with my phone and now you can see the change even when this power bank obviously is able to deliver 2.1 amps, which they really state, here we see just a consumption of 1.85 amps because there is some limitation somewhere. I don't know where, maybe on this phone, maybe with the... Uh, yeah, I don't know where. I mean, the cable can't be the problem because we have uh, already measured with this artificial consumer so it probably is the phone which just uh, doesn't require to or is not able to charge with 2.1 amps and only 1.85 so if somebody would test such a power bank and uh, want to check if it's really capable to to, to charge with 2.1 amps so you would have uh, wrong readings and to really test such a device you definitely need such an artificial uh, yeah, consumer or intelligent electronic load client or yeah however you want to call that so it's a huge improvement for me and I mean you never know maybe your phone will be charged before this thing will be empty and then then you got bad readings and so on and so on this will always have the same load from the beginning to the end not like a phone with a phone it will change the charging speed probably to the end it will go slower so i can highly recommend something like that if you are planning to make real measurements with like power banks or if you want to test 
just normal USB chargers. Uh, that's the only way you get really good readings. And I will put down the link to this listing on Amazon into the description so you can check it out, get more information and maybe you can order it right from there if you like that so i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time